seconds. Who's there? All right, all right. Who are you? Is that any way to greet an old friend? Mr. Gandalf, sir. It's you. What a pleasant surprise after all this time. You look the same as ever. And uh, not a day older than when Bilbo left. What brings you back here? Not a day older, I swear. You'll have to forgive me, Mr. Gandalf, sir. I wasn't expecting company, but there's some plum cake left. Not much, I admit, but it's Mrs. Bracegirdle's plum. Do you still have that gift Bilbo left behind? Yes, of course. I've kept it safe, just as he told me. Let me see it. Don't tell me you've come all this way just for an invisibility ring. It's a good trick, I know, but... Wait! Have you ever used it? To disappear? Well, I've been tempted. Especially when the Sackville Bagginses came to call. Tempted, were you indeed? Take it, go on. It's still cold. There are markings. They weren't there before. Oh, fool! Too much time has been lost! Mr. Gandalf? He was reluctant, wasn't he, Bilbo? To give it up to you? Well, he, he did forget to at first, but... I had my suspicions, of course, but... How to be certain, Frodo? How, how to be sure? Mr. Gandalf, sir, I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. No, of course you don't. Listen, uh, Frodo. In ancient days, rings of power were made uh, to halt decay, to preserve what was loved. Each with its own magic, but a master ring was forged to control the other rings, to control Middle Earth. It was made by the Dark Lord, a name even you hobbits have heard, like a shadow on the borders of old stories. The Dark Lord? I thought all that was legend. No, not legend. History. The Dark Lord poured into the ring, that one ring, all his malice and a large part of his hideous strength. He used it to try and conquer Middle-earth, but he was defeated. And the one ring was lost. The one ring. Those markings end all down. They reveal themselves only in fire, and they are written in the black language of Mordor, which I will not utter here, but in the common tongue. One ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all, and in the darkness bind them. But what was Uncle Bilbo doing with something like this? He's just a shire hobbit like the rest of us. He never knew what it really was. And here in this hidden corner of the world, it has been sheltered at least. But things are changing, Frodo. In the east, the Dark Lord is rising once more. He hunts far and wide for his lost ring, but he must not get it. If he does, his power would be beyond our wildest imaginings. Frodo, he has heard the name Baggins. His search will lead him to the Shire. The Shire? Then we must get rid of it. Perhaps you'd better take it, sir. No! Do not tempt me. My power would be too great and terrible. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Gandalf, sir. I didn't know. But a thing like this can't stay here. And if you can't take it away, I will. You? Hobbits are surprising creatures, soft as butter you can be, yet at times as tough as old tree roots. Yes, Frodo, but if you choose this task, you should go as soon as you can. Leave the name Baggins behind you. Uh, take the title Underhill. Underhill. Trust nobody. And whatever the danger. And this is vital, Frodo. 
do not put on the ring. Right. I will explain more when I can. But how far shall I go? I can see no farther than you, Frodo. But if you want my advice, go first to the elves at Rivendell. Elves? A spy. Sam Ganji. Sam! My gaffer said he'd seen you, Mr. Gandalf. The things you were talking about, well, I couldn't help but listen, sir. What have you heard? Enough about that ring and elves and the like. You must forget it all. Mr. Frodo, don't let him turn me into anything unnatural. Mr. Gandalf, please. Wait. You. Shall go with Frodo. Me? Go to Rivendell? See elves? I've always wanted to see elves. I must seek the counsel of Saruman the White. He is the leader of my order. I will meet you along the way. However, you do not travel entirely unaided. The rangers of the north are already on the watch. Rangers? You will never see them. They, they work in secret to protect the Shire and all the lands between the sea and the Misty Mountains. I will meet you at Bree, under the sign of the Prancing Pony. The Prancing Pony, right. Frodo, Sam, as a hobbit might say, may the hair on your toes never fall out. Welcome to Isengard, old friend. Saruman, the world needs your wisdom. You come to speak of the Dark Lord. Indeed. He has sent forth the Black Riders. They have crossed the river heading west. They are closing in on the Shire. Already. We both know what they seek. If you know its whereabouts, you must inform the White Council. Gandalf, our time is at hand. This is why we were sent to Middle-earth. Perhaps. If we were to find the One Ring before him, we could master all the Dark Lord has learned and done since the hour it was forged. Turn his own power against him. Use the Ring. Already I am creating an army. I shall make engines of war in furnaces fed with the great trees of Fangorn. The tree herders will not welcome you destroying their ancient forests. We cannot let sentiment distract us if the Dark Lord is to believe we are his allies. His allies? We build armies of our own in secret and appear to work for his cause, but turn against him when the ring is ours. Such a strategy could never be concealed from his eye. And who may work with him and remain uncorrupted? This is an opportunity for the light to triumph, perhaps the last opportunity we will ever know. Do not abandon your calling. Where is the ring? I do not know where the ring is now. You will stay here in Isengard until you tell me. As leader of the White Council, I command it. Then I must release myself from your authority. You will see wisdom. With or without you, the ring will be found and used against the shadow to build a dominion of light. Saruman, we were sent to give aid, not to control. Saruman! Saruman! <laughs>